Hey Superstars, it is time for my little monthly recap video. Got some awesome care packages to share, a contest response for Mr. Fisher Bike, and some purchases and announcements and junk like that. Lots to cover, lots going on, so let's get this party started. First up, my best friend Chad from Cool Plastics sent some goodies all the way from the great state of Hawaii. He sent an 86 Topps Rack Pack, really cool. Got a young Tito on the front, I love it. I'll save this for a TTM video and this Rewax Pack, not to be confused with Repacked Wax. This should be fun. Uh, we got Tony Perez, Steve Carlton, Pete Rose, Willie McCovey, Fergie Jenkins, Willie Randolph, yeah buddy, my boy Bernie, big cat rookie, don't call me Joey, minor league card, sweet. We got Clay Matthews, Sinchu Chu rookie, that's a cool card. Campy, awesome. Love me some Campy Russell. 78 Eck. Skinny Barry, Ozzy, Rocket, more Ozzy. Jimmy, ooh, 1950 Bowman, Mike Garcia. This guy was a stud. Awesome player, awesome card. And an 85 Doc. Very, very cool pack, Chad. Those are some great cards. I love it. Let's rip those 87 Sport Flicks packs while we're at it. Got uh, Kevin Mitchell and Kirby. That was a thick pack for only having three cards. Second pack, we got The Hawk and Dale Murphy. Awesome sauce. Thanks, Chad. Very generous of you, sir. Next up is a package I received from my best friend Jason, a.k.a. Poor Man Stack. We got a nice little letter to go into the collection. Let's see, lots of goodies in here. A uh, little brown helmet won't fit my big head. Uh, Fausto Carmona autograph, if that is your real name. Spoiler alert, it's not. Uh, this dude stole the identity of a dead guy to obtain a visa and so that he could tell teams that he was three years younger than he actually was. His real name is Roberto Hernandez. And this is pretty awesome. Uh, relic card from the Cavs, J.J. Hickson, where number 23 there. Ooh, look at that. Relic swatch from Wild Thing Anderson Varigel. Liked him a lot, too. Hot Rod. Ooh, a 1971 Indians team card. That's in really nice shape. Got a Lindor All-Star card, nice 64 team card. Uh, 63 Fred Whitfield Gold Cup, Eck Rookie Reprint there. Uh, Simber Rookie Doby, hey, Bill and Ted, excellent. Jason's paying attention. Uh, Dougie, Julio, there's a lot more here. Uh, Corey, Joey, Kenny, Dirtbag, get that out of here. Sorry, Jason. Ooh, Lenny, OPG, nice. Uh, next bag, got Kevin Seitzer, Eddie Murray, Omar. Uh, next bag, Corey and Frankie. Cool stuff. We'll save these packs for some TTMs. Uh, ooh, 1968 Steve Hargan game piece. That's sweet. Look at those dreamy blue eyes. Oh, look at that. A PSA 8 Frank Minifield. He was an awesome corner and originated the dog pound with Hanford Dixon. Thank you so much, Jason. These are some really cool cards. Love them. Uh, my best buddies Dustin and Blake also sent me a little something something. Let's see. Oh my gosh, this is the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Alvaro Espinoza. This will go perfect in my Alvaro Super Collection. Time for a little AEs and LPs. Alright, uh, 89 tops traded. We have uh, 87 Pro Cards. 87 tops Tiffany. Uh, 90 Don Ross Best of the AL. Ninety two Tops Mini. Ninety two OPG. And wham from Dustin and Blake, we have the nineteen eighty five Minnesota Twins postcard. I love it. Thank you guys so much. Okay, Mr. Fisherbike is running an 800 subscriber contest. He's run some of the coolest contests I've seen on YouTube, and I've never entered one, so I told him I'd get in on this one. He wants to see our best non-PC cards and give a couple of shout-outs for channels that deserve more love. So let's get the cards out of the way first. I try to keep my collection pretty focused and lean, but sometimes you buy cards that just catch your eye. All right, the first few are recent purchases. Uh, number 10 is the T218 Leech Cross Boxing Card. Uh, Pre-war tobacco cards got me back into the hobby, and every once in a while I'll pick up a non-baseball card. This one is mislabeled by PSA, actually. This is not a T20, so that's kind of neat. Uh, number 9 is 1966 Catwoman. I bought three of these old Batman cards because I thought they looked cool, but they didn't really fit into the PC. Uh, I got home and decided I wanted more, so I went back, but they were all gone. 
Number eight, uh, 1954 Bowman Autogram. I know it's a Cleveland card, but it's the first football card that I've purchased in over 25 years. So I love that one. The next few cards are cards I had when I was a kid. So number seven is 1985 Big Mac. Uh, number 6A and 6B are 1977 Pete Rose and Johnny Bench. So when I was a kid, I asked my dad who his favorite players were growing up. He told me Rose and Bench. So I went out and I bought these from the year that I was born and gave them to him for his birthday. He immediately gave them back to me to uh, hold on to. Now, the last thing I want to do is make my dad look like a jerk. He really isn't. He's a great guy, but I was a little devastated at the time. But cards just aren't his thing. And he's really hard to buy gifts for. But I still hold on to them for him. And I think of him when I hold these cards. Number five, 1958 Stan Musial All-Star card. My mom bought me this card when I was a kid. It is well-loved, but still a very, very cool card. Number four, 1963 Yaz. Beckett said this was worth about 60 bucks when I was a kid, so I treasured it dearly. 60 bucks was like $600,000 to little Scott. Um, number three, 1971 Thurman Munson. Thurman was from Northeast Ohio, just like me, so I have that kinship with him. It's just a great, iconic card. Number two, 83 Sandberg. I've shown this before, but this was my pride and joy. And number one, Roy Hobbs. I've shown this one before, too. Milo made this for me for Christmas one year, and I wouldn't trade it for any card ever. I love this card. There goes Roy Hobbs, the best there ever was. All right, on to some shout-outs. There seems to be lots of newer up-and-coming TTM channels, and I'm having a little trouble deciding on who to give a shout-out to, so I'm spinning the wheel of fortuitousness again. Ooh, okay, Disguise Cards is a fun channel, even though Alfredo is a Steelers fan. Uh, he shows off his returns, sometimes with his kids, and at the end of each video, he picks his guy of the week, which would be his favorite return that week. Pretty cool concept, so uh, go check him out. Alfredo's a really good dude. Who's next? Uh, Drew's autographs. Okay, Drew is new to YouTube, but not new to TTM. He's a big Cleveland fan like myself, so we share a lot of the same interests. He likes to go beyond showing his returns and tries to do some helpful tutorials as well. So uh, another good channel I enjoy, so go check out Drew. Unfortunately, the rules stated I could only do two shout outs. So Cool Plastics, Baseball Fan 75, 716 Inc. Adam, Shoebox Baseball, Alt Ego 2099 and to Pac-Man. I am sorry, I absolutely cannot tell people to go visit your channels as well. I didn't make the rules, I'm just following them. I hope you'll all forgive me. I still feel like a noob in this hobby, so I'm still like trying to figure out how I want to collect and I'm trying different things every once in a while. I began the month putting out dollar bids on tons of cards on eBay. I thought that looked like fun, so after a couple of weeks, this is what I ended up with. These are cool and they all fit in my collection, but that was a lot of work and a lot of eBay emails to weed through, and I can't really say that I'm overly excited about any of these. And then there's those guys who concentrate on getting the nicest examples of the very specific things they collect. That inspired me to buy a couple things that I'd really be excited about, like this PSA 10 Julio rookie. I've been eyeing this card for almost a year, and I finally pulled the trigger, and I couldn't be happier with it. And I made a couple additions to the Al Rosen collection. What up, Sean Tiford? I found a nice autographed action pack. This one was also inspired by Eddie's baseball autographs. This uh, neat upper deck SP numbered to 99. Found this big TCMA card for a quarter and the world's tiniest Al Rosen. So cute. Oh, and I scored this Alvaro Espinosa ball. You know that makes me happy. So I guess collect what makes you happy. So for June, I had planned to not send out any baseball TTMs and really concentrate on celebrities and start expanding my horizons a little bit. So I got half of that right. I didn't send out any baseball request, but uh, I didn't send out any celebrity request either. I'm a big slacker, so um, I just really didn't uh, plan my time very well. Carl Reiner was on my short list and he passed away this week, so I got a little fire lit and I'll try to do a lot better in July. And a little sales pitch to end things here. I'm still super excited about this project. If you're not familiar, RJ Promotions commissioned me to do some art for a Joe Charbonneau signing. These are numbered to 134, signed by Mr. Charbonneau and myself. 
They're available on RJ's uh, Facebook page, link below, and I'm sure you need to own one. Yes, you, I'm talking to you. <laughs> RJ has asked me to do some more projects with them in the future, so I'm really excited about that. And I'm excited about you guys. These are tough times for everybody, and it would be very easy to just curl up on the couch and cry, but I keep making stuff to keep my mind busy, and you make me feel like what I'm doing is important, and I really appreciate it, and uh, I appreciate the comments and the support and everything else. Uh, I love you for it. Uh, thanks again to Cool Plastics, to Poor Man Stack, to Dustin and Blake. Go check them out. Go check out Mr. Fisher Bike and check out Disguise Cards and Drew's Autographs and maybe some of those other guys that were on the Wheel of Fortuitousness. Oh, and uh, don't forget r &J Promotions on the Facebook. Links for everybody in the description. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you with a TTM video on Friday.